Guys, we just launched the new Overwatch 2 site and you must check it out. The first batch of brand new videos is already live and we have 30 more coming in the next few days. Click the link, I guarantee you will love it. Hey guys, Coach Highway from Gameleap here bringing you a new video on counter picks. In this video, we'll be covering one solid counter pick for every hero in Overwatch 2. To organize this list, we will be going alphabetically. The first hero on our list is going to be Ana. The biggest Ana counter is actually Kiriko. Kiriko can use her 120 damage headshots to dink enemy Anas who are scope firing at her team across the map. Kiriko can also use her cleansing ability to remove the anti from Ana's anti grenades and possibly save herself a team fight. The next hero is Ash, and the best best counter to Ash is going to be Widowmaker. Widow can play far outside of Ash's damage fall off range and land one shot headshots whereas Ash cannot do the same to her. This lets Widowmaker shut off angles from her safely and make it difficult for the Ash to get any damage dealt. Next up is Baptiste and an excellent Baptiste counter is going to be Genji. Genji can get the drop on Baptiste and deal a ton of damage to him in a spot where it's hard for the Bap to aim. Genji's double jump also lets him keep up with the Bap when he uses his own jump making Genji an effective Bap counter. Our next hero is going to be Bastion and Hanzo is a great counter to Bap. Bastion due to Bastion's huge hitbox and Hanzo's ability to spam arrows without spending much time picking a corner. Because of this, he is able to burst down and kill Bastion before the Bastion can get any real damage on him. If you're having issues with the Brigida, consider going Farah. Farah is an excellent Brigida counter because Brig has no damage to deal with Farah, and she has no mobility to escape her, and her personal shield is small enough that Farah can spam rockets to her sides in order to kill her around it. Next on our list is Cassidy, and D.Va can make use of Cassidy's large hitbox to quickly kill him, and she can also Matrix off his grenade to make his only cooldown useless. She is also much faster than him, meaning he can't really escape her dives even with his roll. Speaking of D.Va, the best counter to D.Va is going to be Zarya, because her beam can punch straight through defense matrix for a lot of damage and her bubbles can save teammates from D.Va's bursty micro missiles. Because of this, she can force D.Va into a much more defensive position and take away her ability to carry. Next up is going to be Doomfist, and pretty much anything with a weapon counters Doom. <laughs> All jokes aside, Doom can be countered quite easily by Orisa. Her fortify allows her to block off Doom's punches, and her javelin can interrupt Doom's abilities and cause him to get stuck in the middle of the enemy team. This leaves Doom in a very vulnerable position and makes him very likely to get picked off. Next up we have Echo, and the best Echo counter in my opinion is Ash. Ash's range can prove to be pretty lethal to Echo, and her mobility can get her out of range of Echo when she tries to close distance. Her high damage weapon also has a quick enough fire rate that she'll get multiple opportunities to win the duel against the Echo. Furthermore, as a hit scan, Ash is one of the best counters to any flying hero. Next up is one of the most popular characters right now, Genji. And Torb is a surprisingly effective Genji counter at any level of play. His turret can do solid steady damage to Genji due to its auto aim, and Torb himself can be hard to fight and predict due to his ability to instantly give himself an extra 100 HP in the middle of a fight. And after Genji, we have the other Shimada brother, Hanzo. D.Va can also counter Hanzo pretty effectively since her matrix just totally removes his entire kit from the game. From his storm arrows, to his sonic arrow, and even his ultimate, D.Va can matrix to get all of the value out of Hanzo and stop him from one-shotting her team. She is also more than capable of solo killing him with her high damage output. Our next hero on the list is going to be Drunker Queen, and Reaper is a pretty effective Drunker Queen counter since most of her damage relies on being close, and she doesn't have a consistent way to one-shot him. Because of this, he can chunk her down in his own effective range and gain enough self-heal to win the 1v1 against her. Her very telegraphed axe swing can also be very easily avoided by his Wraith ability. Next on our list is Junkrat, and Pharah is a great counter to Junk. He doesn't have much option for actively fighting her, and she can use her rockets to flush him out of positions and get easy kills on him while she is difficult for him to reach. Our next next character is going to be Kiriko, and Kiriko's biggest counter in my opinion is actually Sombra. Sombra can use her hack to get rid of Kiriko's abilities, making her much more vulnerable to being killed. This can be particularly powerful when comboed with a dive follow-up. Next on our list is Lucio, and interestingly enough, Sombra is also a huge counter to Lucio. Lucio's beat will get totally removed by EMP, and hacking him will force him to be stuck waddling around on the ground since he can no longer wall ride. After he's stuck on the floor, he ends up being a much easier pick for most teams. Our next character is going to be Mei, and Zarya can counter Mei extremely heavily due to her bubbles instantly unfreezing targets from Mei's ultimate. She also does a ton of damage and can force Mei to back off and play much slower than the Mei would usually like to. Next up we have Mercy, and Ana can anti the target Mercy is healing to make the pocket significantly less powerful. She is also a hit scan which allows for her to tag the enemy Mercy as she is flying through the air, making her a surprisingly effective counter. Next on our list is Mora, and Mora is also hard countered by Ana due to anti-grenade making Mora's value very minimal since she is so healing oriented. Although it's a difficult shot, Ana can also sleep Mora out of her ultimate and just cancel it entirely. 
The next character on our list is Orisa, and the biggest Orisa counter is going to be Zarya. Zarya's bubbles negate Orisa's stuns and her ult damage, and Zarya can apply a ton of pressure onto the Orisa with her high damage output. This will force the Orisa to play slower and require much more heals, which means she's going to miss out on a lot more frags. Our next hero is Farah, and a few characters can fit into this list, but my personal favorite is Soldier 76. Soldier can usually match the Farah's mercy by healing himself a little bit, letting him spend more time dueling with her. The fact that he is his scan allows him to actually shoot at the Pharah unlike the majority of the projectile heroes on this list, and he is less affected from damage fall off than Cassidy or Ashar. Soldier's Helix rockets also allow for him to burst down the Pharah quickly when she uses her rocket barrage. Next hero is going to be Reaper, and the biggest Reaper counter is certainly D.Va. D.Va using her Matrix can negate all of the Reaper's damage, which also means that he doesn't get any self-heal, and that forces him to back out of fights that he probably wanted to take for longer. Her missiles can also soften him up while she is Matrixing, so that afterwards she can have an easier time finishing the kill. Her Matrix can also consume Reaper's entire ultimate, possibly saving her team. Our next hero is going to be Ryan, and the biggest Ryan counter is undoubtedly Farah. Ryan has literally no answer against Farah, as she can fly up above his head and force him to face his shield upwards and away from the Farah's team, or take a ton of spam from above. This pretty much forces the Ryan into an impossible situation because he's going to be taking damage one way or the other, and he has no way of rectifying the situation. Furthermore, when she has Barrage, she can punch straight through his full shield and still kill him, and the Ryan has no way to counter her with any of his kit. Our next hero is going to be Roadhog, and I actually want to include two counters here because they both counter in different ways and it's a good learning experience. The first counter is going to be Ana, who can anti off Roadhog's self heal or sleep him out of it and apply a, in general a lot of pressure to him directly with her cooldowns, making him near unplayable. Widowmaker, however, is also an excellent Roadhog counter as she can play super far away and even if she is not shooting at him directly, she can use the fact that he makes a little space for his squishy teammates against him and pick them off so that he has nothing to support him pushing forward. So pretty much you can either counter him directly with the Ana, or you can use his weaknesses to counter the rest of his team with a Widowmaker. Moving on to our next hero is going to be Sigma, and Sombra is an excellent counter to Sig since she can constantly hack him out of his abilities and even his ultimate. His weapon is very precise and has a low fire rate, meaning that it's hard for him to check around the map for her and hard for him to interrupt her hack. He also has a very large hitbox that can provide plenty of farming opportunity for the Sombra to build EMP off of. Our next hero is Sojourn, and honestly Sojourn is pretty hard to counter in general right now. The best bet I've found has actually been Monkey because Monkey's bubbles give Sojourn quite a decent problem as she takes a while to break them with her left click. In a lot of cases, a well placed Monkey bubble can actually make it difficult for the Sojourn to get her ult off since, like I said, it takes her forever to break it and the railgun is not going to help. Furthermore, the Monkey can use his right click and harass her a little bit which forces her to play a little bit closer to her healers and reduces her overall sight lines and control of the map. Our next character is going to be Soldier, and Soldier is pretty mobile and can be hard to pin down. The best counter to him that I have found is going to be Sigma. Sig's shield and his shift allows for him to eat a lot of Soldier's damage and cause him to waste a ton of time. Sigma also deals a pretty significant amount of damage, so playing in certain areas which force the Soldier to come closer can cause problems for the Soldier. Either way, Sig forces Soldier to slow down and pay close attention to what he does. The next hero is going to be Sombra, and Sombra is another one of those heroes this season that is actually pretty hard to counter right now. Diva can be an excellent choice due to her ability to easily check around for invisible Sombras, Matrix Sombras damage, and stop her hat quickly due to her infinite ammo shotguns. Our next hero is going to be Symmetra, and Zarya is a pretty potent Sim counter right now. Sim can charge her beam on Zarya's shields, but ultimately Zarya is going to out DPS her at that range, and Bubble can save a teammate from dying to a Symmetra. This makes a character that already has pretty low pick potential have even lower pick potential if the Zarya is paying attention to her. Keep in mind though that Sim does have a good counter to Zarya's Graviton Surge with her teleporter, so just be careful with that. The next hero on our list is going to be Torb, and Torb's best counter pick is definitely Hanzo. Hanzo's arrows allow for him to quickly peek and hide again around corners, making it difficult for Torb to effectively fight him, and making it easy for Hanzo to break Torb's turret as well. Due to Torbjorn's massive hitbox, he's generally an easy kill for a Hanzo to grab, or at least pressure out. We're moving on to Tracer, and going back to the good flanker counter mentioned earlier, Torb can do a ton of work against the Tracer. His turret being auto-aim allows it to shut down angles that Tracer wants to go to fairly easily due to her small health pool. His primary fire also does 140 damage on a headshot,
headshot, which makes even taking one headshot very dangerous for Tracer. His overload giving him increased fire rate as well as his extra health makes him even more dangerous and generally causes Tracers to just avoid Torps entirely. Next up is Widow, and the best Widow counter that isn't just another Widowmaker is Sombra. Widow wants to play far back with her team way ahead of her to contest and create tons of space for her to land easy headshots from. Sombra can go invisible and decloak near a Widow to try and land an easy quick kill since Widow will likely be standing almost still and focusing on sniping and her supports might not be looking at her. Our next character is Winston and the best counter to Winston is going to be D.Va as she can chase him around and her high close range damage allows her to pretty much shut him down wherever he wants to go. She can also use her boosters to boop him in midair and throw off his dives. Next on our list is going to be Wrecking Ball and Wrecking Ball's best counter is still going to be Sombra. Sombra can hack Ball causing him to lose his ability to stay inside of his ball meaning he is much slower and his head hitbox is exposed. Her hack can also cancel slam and makes the giant Wrecking Ball an easy target for her team to follow up on. Hacking health packs can also reduce Wrecking Ball's independence on his team's heals. The next hero on our list is going to be Zarya and Sojourn is going to be my top Zarya counter selection. Sojourn's damage is pretty significant and a high charge railgun shot to Zarya's easy headshot hitbox is enough to bring her down to half HP. Sojourn's spam is also pretty strong and can even charge her railgun on Zarya's bubbles, meaning she can apply a steady amount of pressure to Zarya from outside of the Zarya's effective range. The final hero on our list is going to be Zenyatta, and Zen's biggest counter has to go to Ana for me for one specific interaction. Ana's anti-grenade can easily stop a Zenyatta's transcendence from being effective all on its own. Due to the transcendence's short range, teams tend to stack up on their Zen to receive heals from his ultimate. This can actually make them an easy target for a surprise anti-grenade, which suddenly takes all of the trans healing away and can catch enemies far out of position, or even save an ultimate which was previously countered, such as Genji's Dragon Blade. Since Zen's ult is simply so important, being able to consistently counter it is a huge deal, making Ana my top pick for this end. And that's one solid counter for each hero in Overwatch 2. Some were a little bit more obscure or creative than just this simple answer, but I hope this video has helped you guys expand your game knowledge some and get a good idea of what weaknesses some heroes have. Thank you guys so much for all the support and I will see you all next time. Take care and peace. Guys, we just launched the new Overwatch 2 site and you must check it out. The first batch of brand new videos is already live and we have 30 more coming in the next few days. Click the link, I guarantee you will love it.